Yo, what's up? It's your boy ET. Look, if you're looking to or you got to raise the bar on your marriage, you gotta you gotta click the link and get in the married and the crazy, y'all. I'm telling you, this coaching is gonna take your relationship to another level. Now look, you already know you need to raise the bar. You know that already. So stop thinking or overthinking and click that link and marriage and the crazy is gonna take you and your spouse to marital bliss. Now you know, click the button. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome to oh, another episode of Married into Crazy <laughs> with Snicks and Lovey. I'm Lovey. I'm Snicks. And we're actually coming to you live from Turks and Caicos. Couldn't think of a better setting than to actually have this uh, quick conversation um, in this particular episode. So first off, how was vacation? Uh, <laughs> vacation was great. Um, so, oops. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> um, so vacation was great, but as in anything, there are some challenges that uh, we had to kind of navigate. Um, I had, uh, so I'm, I'm in school. We planned this trip two years ago. And this is before I started my master's program, so I didn't want to not um, to say, no, we're not going to go or take a week off from school. I was like, no, I'm going to get it in and fit it in however I can. And um, that kind of took away a little bit. There was some stress, but it is what it is. Came here stress, to enjoy it. <laughs> stress meaning she was in the bathroom crying, in the bedroom crying, in the living room crying? No, I wasn't. Maybe in the living room. No. But... Um, then I had a severe, severe, severe allergic reaction to something. I know that I'm allergic to fresh cut grass, but I don't think that that's what it was, not to affect me the way that it did. I um, instantly, well, not instantly, but I ex just exploded. Exploded. It was like, I don't know if you guys ever seen that movie. Um, Hitch. Os no, not Hitch. Oh, Oscar Powers. Uh, the ev uh, evolution. Remember when they threw the fire on the th on the thing and it. No. Anyway, so it was kind of like that. It was like an eruption of something, and I swell up. I did look like Hitch in the face, but my tongue also um, and the uvula. That's what it's the uvula, yeah. Okay, that swelled up too. So it was hard for me to swallow and Talk. try to be rushed to the emergency and. Her tongue was like three times the size of her normal tongue, which she couldn't talk. Nobody could understand her. It was crazy. Freaked out. The staff here at Beaches and Turks and Caicos oh, were yeah, absolutely they were amazing. absolutely amazing. Rushed her. They didn't want to wait for an ambulance. They mm -hmm. grabbed a driver, rushed her out to the hospital. We're there. Um, the Turks and Caicos Island um, Hospital. Amazing staff. They were very attentive. <laughs> took care of her. Why are you laughing? Because the doctor, um, he came in when we, well, I think it might have been a nurse. He, when I walked in, he looked at me, and then he just looked away. He looked at me again, and I told him, I said, I saw how you looked at me. And he said, how was that? Like, what the heck is going on? I said, exactly. He kind of understood me, so, yeah. but that was funny. But anyway. It was, it was an amazing trip. So here's the thing. We didn't get into it very on, but we, don't hit the table, please. Oh, um, sorry. Because it keeps wobbling. Oh. <laughs> uh, we haven't... Uh, gotten into it but we are a couple that's been married for 26 years we are blessed to have um, our family here with us in Turks and Caicos but There's then 21 of us here we're blessed to have 21 individuals to actually join us in this entire group it was amazing private dinner for my birthday um, up in an all-white party um, I am the reggae king love you the reggae king because I, I won a <laughs> dance contest out here um, I wasn't much dancing but um, but I won that and, and then this competition wasn't all that so nah. <laughs> And then uh, last night, uh, to finish it off, our family was selected to go play Family Feud, and we ended up winning that as well. So I'm coming home with two trophies. We're coming home. Oh, we're yeah. We're coming home with two trophies. Seriously? I'm coming home with three trophies, those two and my trophy wife. And it was amazing. You know, the, the one thing we want to talk about, because we have to move quickly, is that you just never know. This uh, Almost about half the time, I was taking walks on the beach. I would go running, and this morning, in the last walk, as I was walking along the beach, I realized that the steps that I saw on the beach that was near the water, as I was walking out towards it, about two miles, as I came back, all those steps were gone. And it made me really think about the fact that 
there's so many things that we think are permanent that we've done that we've experienced that are there and realistically it, it, it's it's like the ebb and flow of life within marriage there's an ebb and flow there's seasons as well we've discussed this in a variety of different ways but the thing I want everyone to think about and take away is just because you have a bad argument doesn't mean you have a bad marriage mm -hmm. just because you have a bad moment doesn't mean you're gonna have a bad day and it really got me thinking about even here there were challenges within the family there were flare-ups as family will do there's bickering my daughters are bickering right now, right now yeah um, but those things are short-term they're very superficial mm -hmm. they go away but we have a, we have to give them their time we have to give them their space and we also have the maturity to recognize that this is but a moment in time and I, and I like how you said maturity because a lot of times you know we we've also talked about this before the action that someone does in the moment that action doesn't make them that I mean unless that's just part of their character sometimes when we do things or we say things because in, in the heat of the moment um, I'm upset and so now I'm slamming doors or, or whatever I'm not a b-word you know all the time <laughs> maybe in that moment but um, wow <laughs> really? no, no, but, no, 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 just... <laughs> but you know it it, it, it it we need to have allow some grace too because things happen and we have to learn how to navigate like you said the ebb and flow of um, getting through challenges going through life not everything is gonna be nothing is linear you know mm. nothing is linear everything there's a moving and you know even with Isaiah so you know we bought our our grandson with us Woo. and we were we struggled honestly to were we gonna bring him or we not gonna bring him just because of some of the challenges that you know we we've, we've been going through but we decided to bring him best decision ever best decision ever even though there have been some challenges you know right. little challenges been trying to, his bad moment didn't turn into a bad day yeah and we we're able to help him shift and even my bad moment didn't make me a bad grandfather it's just one of those things where we have a challenge we have to recognize that's all it is in that moment that challenge it doesn't have to persist it's not chronic it's not persistent it's only in the moment and we have to have the willingness to see beyond that particular moment as well. Yeah, exactly. And, and the commitment, you know, you have to be committed. Stay committed to the commitments that you made. Um, and like Lovey said, in that moment, I might need, you need to give me 10 feet, give me 10 minutes or whatever, but make sure, don't let that 10 minutes turn into 10 hours, turn into 10 weeks, turn into 10 months or whatever it is. Um, make sure that you come back and revisit. Um, okay, this is what happened you know let's 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 have a conversation about it and not take it personal you know like you said our daughters love and death but good lord everything is not a, a personal attack you know right it's not always meant for you it, it just could be something that just happened so and one of the things i, I want to point out that's something that we experienced while we were here um again this is beaches Tur turks and caicos and uh, we should be getting paid for that but we're not uh, I'm just saying it because we really thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, the staff here has been top-notch, amazing. The families that we've met and interacted with, you know, it's just been a lot of fun. And But one thing I want to talk about being as well is being undeniable. One of the things that we talk about with the King's Accountability Group, our mantra for the year is be undeniable. And, and Snooks was undeniable. When we arrived, we were supposed to have an ocean view, and they put us in a room that it had a, a phenomenal view of, a tarp. Of, of a tarp that was blocking construction that's being built. They're building on a whole new village right next to us over here. And now, mind you, it was a, a nice pretty tarp of sandals and all that's coming, but that's not what we, I was like, wait, what happened here? So. Exactly. And, and so the first day, let it go like, oh, this sucks, you know, but hey, you know what? We're in Turks and Caicos. It could be worse. And then uh, the next day, it was like, ah, you know, I want to go sit on the balcony and watch the sunset or the sunrise. Couldn't do it because of the tarp. So finally, uh, we arrived on a Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. And so it was Thursday morning when we went into the concierge and we're like, hey, you know what? We just explained. This isn't what we expected, you know, because they wanted to know, how's your, how's the trip? Eh, it's okay. 
And they're like, what do you mean? So we got into it. And then Snooks was like, I'm just going to be honest with you. She's like, this is not what we've been waiting for for two years. And not what we selected, not what we paid for, you know. Exactly. And so by being undeniable, they turned around and gave us a nice credit on the account, mm -hmm. but they also moved us. So we had a choice. And, and a lot of times it comes down to choices we have to make as well and being undeniable. What is more important to us? So the first thing was, okay, we can move you today, but you'll have a partial ocean view and, you know, it'll be nice similar room or actually the same type of room but just not as but if you wait a day if you wait one additional day mm -hmm. we will give you a spectacular view and it was and I gotta say it's just this we're on our porch by the way this, on our yeah on our patio in our back room we've got three of these that wrap around our room and this is the view from every single one of the patios we are here as a matter of fact before we got this room this is where we were hanging out, just yeah, on the beach. on the beach, yeah. Right there by, um, right here by the room. So it's just amazing that they put us in the exact same place. Mm -hmm. So not only does it, the two um, openings open up to the beach, but we also have one off of our bedroom and that opens up to the, uh, the pool. So yeah, being undeniable and, and not being afraid to say, hey, um, hello. <laughs> It goes this back is to not, you know, um, this is not what we wanted. This is not what we paid for. This is not what I signed up for. And not in a nasty type of way, but just standing your ground, in, so to speak, and just not being afraid to, all they could do is say no. Right, exactly. And be undeniable when it comes to your marriage. Be undeniable when it comes to your covenant. I'm not mm -hmm. saying deny, deny, deny your spouse. But what I am saying is that you both had a vision of what your marriage was going to be when you first came into it. You had a vision of, I hope you had a vision for what your progress as a couple was going to look like. And the moment that you noticed that we're not going in the direction of what we said I do to, be undeniable. Sit down and have a conversation about where are we going? What are we doing? This isn't what we both said that we wanted. Let's commit to the things that we said I do to and be undeniable in our expectation of, the, of that covenant. And create a plan, you know. I think a lot of times we don't think about we need to create a plan in our marriage. We just kind of, let's just go for it, which, you know, spontaneous, whatever. But you're talking about longevity. You want to make sure that you have a plan in place, have a vision in place, and have action steps. And I know it so, sounds so technical. Well, I mean, okay, it may be, but it doesn't have to be robotic. It can have a, the plan can still be the plan, and it can still feel spontaneous it can still feel loving it doesn't have to feel so um, rigid or whatever um, but we need to make sure that we have those goals and those visions and everything in our marriages so if I, so what you can see is activity in the background to, again once again to emphasize how beautiful the scenery is directly off of our patio it seems like every family every couple you know the beach that's right in front of us this is the spot that they go to in order to take their and pictures take their pictures yeah we so, have four families out there taking pictures right now so it's pretty funny but you know what again be undeniable when it comes to your marriage um when you see me bow down recognize i am the reggae king Ugh. i will dance in front of you let me tell y'all something <laughs> ever since the that night everyone who was there that recognized him they were just like, hey, that's the reggae king. Hey, I saw you on stage. You're the reggae king. And even the staff, they're like, reggae king, you know. And I'm just like, you guys, I have to go home with this. So I need you to tone it down oh, just a little bit. You, um, I got to pack you in the luggage because my trophy is going to be <laughs> in your seat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, but hey, we just wanted to get a quick one in before we have to actually get our luggage out and take off. Uh, it's been so much going on here that we... We wanted to ensure that we, in a way, brought you along with us. So um, be undeniable in your marriage. Get an opportunity, if you, if you can, please share this podcast. Share it with your friends, your family, your mama, your auntie, your cousin, everybody out there. And um, go to marriedintocrazy.com to see all the different things that we do to support your marriage. There's coaching. There's clothing. There's... Um, raise the bar. There's raise the bar. So you can also go to raisethebarmarriage.com and see an 18 part video series that will allow you to go through your own self-paced training. Um, I'm gonna call it training, just 
conversations with each other and with us through the video, so to speak. Um, there's curriculum there. Um, it, it's highly touted. Go there and you can actually see some testimonials. But look, bottom line is, um, not, uh, not that I'm the reggae king, because I am, but uh, be undeniable in your marriage and recognize that a moment is just a moment, right? Be undeniable in securing you know, a lifetime of happiness within your marriage and don't let that fleeting moment make you think that you have you know, a bad situation. You know, and be undeniable in showing your love to your spouse too. Mm. That's important. I mean, sometimes there's so many steps that we we forget that is actually attached to a person. So we need to make sure that we're showing that person that we love them. I mean, no matter what happens, I know, I know without a doubt, lovey loves me. I know that. I can say that, you know, all day long. Oh, I know he loves me. You know, and not just because we got married in California, because it's community property state or anything like there that. You go. But you know, I'm there just you go. throwing that out there. You know. Oh, and bring bug spray when you come to Turks and Caicos. Ooh, bring bug spray. It's not horrible, but mm, you will get bit up. I just got bit again right now. So, anyway, uh, <laughs> until the next time in Turks and Caicos or somewhere else in the world. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Make so, it a series. Right, exactly. Um, until the next time. Be blessed. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye.